Hello, Angui here and today I'm popping your screen with my sleep cap. So last night I stuffed my hair in this hair bonnet and went to sleep and now it's morning and I'm here to show you how I create these two cute little buns on my hair and if you were wondering this is the bun I had in the video I uh, made about a week ago with my daughter how we did our morning routine during quarantine and if you missed that video i will put the link in the description box below if you would want to see for any hairstyle ideas but today it's all about me and let's get into it so we're starting off on a very old twist out i think it's about eight to nine or day twist out and this is just the right moment when i go into make my hair buns because i don't like putting in my hair into any kind of bun when my hair is still very clean and fresh because then I will be going in with all those gels and everything which I don't like to leave this in my hair for long. So first like I always do with all my hair buns I want to go in to spread my hair with some water to give it some hydration and to kind of give it some more life. And if you've been following my hair bun series you will notice that I like to properly moisturize my hair and seal it with an oil before going in with all the gels and the hair tools. I'll be using these hair ties, the tail comb to pat my hair and then going in with these pins to pin down and create the bun. So what I do here is just mix some of the twisting cream, which is my sort of a leave-in cream with the oil and really work it into my hair. I really want to make sure that my hair is properly moisturized. This is still a protective style. So any sort of protective style in which I'm leaving my hair, I want to make sure that I'm properly moisturized it. And particularly for this style, I'm really making sure to take around, especially the perimeters of my hair because I'll be brushing those down. Then on top of that, again, I'm going in with even more oil to just seal in all of that. Now using my tail comb, I just want to follow that middle part and probably split my hair into two halves. I think I'm one of those kind of people who can't draw a straight line with a ruler because I'm really struggling and I've hardly had my my parts really straight. So I went ahead and um, with the help of a larger mirror to split my hair and I would start with this other first half and then I'm really even going in with some extra moisture to put it along the part that I have created because I will be brushing all around the perimeters of each of the bones down so I just want to make sure I'm getting everything and I'm doing the same thing to the other half of the hair And once I'm done moisturizing, I just tie it up and let it, let it just sit and set. We're not yet done, but we're off to a good start. So what I'll be doing right now is just applying the gel all around my hair, the perimeters of each bone, and I will be brushing those down. So it's not been very long that I started really going in with gels into my hair and whenever I have to, I make sure that my hair is properly moisturized and well oiled before applying these gels. And I also make sure that I don't leave the gels into my hair for really long. So like a hairstyle like this one or any of the bonds that I have created here, I usually leave them in maybe just for about two days or three maximum. I mean, I don't exceed three days with any of my bonds. I leave them maximum 
for like two days and then I make sure that I wash my hair properly with even sometimes a sulfate um, shampoo. I really don't mind because I want to make sure that I'm cleaning and stripping everything off my hair. Then I'm going in now with brushing and smoothing this um, gel into my hair and it really helps in laying down those hair and smoothing their hair in order to create the bond. The bristles of this brush are quite soft but this is not something you want to do every day to your hair because regardless of whatever kind of brush you're using it's still a hair tool and overuse of any hair tool can either um, destroy or break your hair and once my hair is properly laid down to my own personal desire I just go in with this hair tie and loop it around my hair twice to secure it now that this first one is um, kind of laid to my um, personal desire I move over to the other half to start applying the gel like I did the first one and I will also be brushing the hair down as well This is a very, very easy hairstyle to do and um, in the mornings, especially on those days when I'm totally out of all my hairstyles or my hair is in this state, this is still a kind of clean and um, neat hairstyle. I like to, oh, I will opt for my top notch. And now that I'm done with um, putting the hair and laying it down all I do now is just grab the hair that flies around and pin those down and just frame and create my bone to my desire this is so so easy to to create as you can see all you need is to make sure that your hair is properly moisturized you have your gel you have your hair ties and pins and you just do it i mean there is no rules to this all you just do is to frame it and fit it so that it suits your taste and fits you how you like and in the end it's just hair you just want to make sure that you you do your hair however you like and just have fun with it. And I really had fun this day with my daughter trying to create these twinning hairstyles for me and her. And um, what I'm doing right here is just going in with some a little bit more gel to just lay down some of those hairs that are kind of trying to poop out and then slicking all that with the tail of my right hair comb and then I will just go ahead and apply my hair tie to let it set for a few minutes while I get ready So because this hair tie isn't long enough, I will be reinforcing it with another hair tie, just tying it all over this one. I would have just gone in with um, the second tie, but I don't usually like it to lay this tie first to my hair because it usually leaves the, the marks like the lines around my hair and I don't like that look. So I prefer to go in with this um, first smaller one and then i just double them i mean it doesn't matter and i just went ahead to let my hair set in this while i get ready for the morning 
and this is the final look cute clean finished two hair poppy buns <laughs> so guys if you liked this video make sure to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel and on to my next one bye bye